Hey everybody, back with a new episode of Supernatural. Last episode was really good. Kevin figured it out. We know how to shut the gates of hell. And it's gonna be Sam that needs to do it because he completed the first task and that sets him on his mission. Uh, I'm really hoping something great comes out of this for him. I really want this to be as a, a like a side-by-side -side of season four of that build to hopefully triumph this time. But I, I really wonder what Dean's role is gonna be in that because when Sam failed in those final do or die moments, it's because Dean got removed from him and that, that damn demon phone call, ah, they replaced Dean's voice message. Um, oh God, I've never been more mad. But I, it seems like with this show and, and all of these things they have, to go through with the um, the seals and now this, it's who's gonna be the one, the one that does this. I, I feel like it's gotta be both of them in some way. That is what the show is, them two in this fight together. So while they have singled out Sam for this thing, I still think Dean's gonna play a big role in that. I mean, they really gave him his props last episode. You're the best hunter, man. You're like, no one's better. Um, so I, I'm, I'm hoping he's feeling okay with what Sam, I, I know he's probably gonna be really nervous about it because I'm really nervous about it. I, I believe in Sam. I just don't know what these trials are gonna be. So I'm nervous, uh, but I really like what this set up and you know, now that they're like in the bunker now, it seems like as a semi-permanent, maybe permanent thing, I'm really excited because Dean got his own room and he seems so happy about that. And I just, I just hope they dive into the reasons that Sam felt like Dean was going into it like a suicide mission because he and Sam have been at odds a lot this season and also all of his friends and family are gone he's completely cut off so i hope they go into like why that's bad for him so i'm just really excited by what the rest of the season's gonna be this season has not let me down for what they've thrown at us stuff i was never expecting but i'm all on board with it um this next episode is called Man's Best Friend with Benefits. That sounds weird because man, best friend, dog, uh, friends with benefits. Uh, what? <laughs> I, I, I would think, you know, maybe hellhounds, but we literally just completed that task. So I don't know where this is going. So let's get into it. What the fuck? What the fuck? Oh no, was it not a dream? This text said that he needed help. He's a cop. I figured it was work related. Yeah, we do owe him. You do? The guy saved our lives once. Just want to make sure that you are okay. He's good. I'm good. Are you gonna be so overbearing, Mom? Find another devil dog. You can tag out. I can snuff the son of a bitch. Dean. Oh. Sam and dogs this season. Oh really? You want a you want a little belly scratch, huh? She just showed up at the door. Okay. <gasps> oh what? She can stay the night. <laughs> Not a shapeshifter, so you can stash the blade. Well, what are you? I'm a familiar. A what? A companion to a witch. I belong to James Frampton. No. Belong to? No, no, see, that, that doesn't work for us, because that wouldn't mean that, that our buddy seems James problematic. is a witch. You don't like dogs, do you? <gasps> that has been a through line with you, so Dave. James isn't a cop anymore. Well, James is a cop with a spotless record. He's used his skills for nothing but good. So why don't you lose the ignorant bigotry for maybe two seconds and give him a shot? He's incredibly hot. <laughs> it's pretty hot. 
I think I'm pushing her away. She's a familiar. Like, can you even do that? So these dreams James is having, he thinks that they're real. He thinks that he is actually killing people? I think so. Oh, come on. Someone there? What? What are you, what is even the blood sport coming from? All right, James, we're gonna, we're gonna help you figure this out, Jane, have to do your part. James. You're gonna have to stay put. We get too far down the road with this. We can't go back. It's already been set in motion. It'll be too late for me to jump in. Now, who says that you're gonna have to? Uh, guys. You know, maybe I'll actually pull this one off. I'm just saying. I know what you're saying, Dean. You've said it. It's not that you don't trust me. It's that you can only trust you. It's not that. You done? Yeah, I'm done if you're done. That... Don't do this. You know, it's once I get this that. put together... Trust matters a lot to Dean. Obviously, he trusted Benny. Is it wrong for Dean to be a little weary the last time that Sam was chosen for a thing? Am I getting a stink eye in here or what? It went badly? I'm, I'm not James's pet. Well, not all the time. There's an unbreakable bond, like a melding of souls. We would die for each other. Portia! Is it... Over here. It's <laughs> weird. It only happens around cats. Dean, you're allergic to Tell cats? Me about James. A lot of oh, he's a cat. Right All gossip. I'm a Wiccan. I'm from Detroit. Yeah. This seems That's like a BDSM magic. club. <laughs> oh. uh, okay. Uh, you ever heard of a spell where a witch can control? The actions of another witch. <laughs> so nice to meet you. This is wild. Ah! <laughs> I am confused. <laughs> I'm not confused, but I'm uncomfortable. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Where are you? This is a big old metaphor. <laughs> I hate doing this to you. For, um... Power in relationships. Okay. We'll say yeah. that. If you don't have to. I mean, she's wearing a collar. There are chains. Up. Come on. This is a loving relation, like loving, right? Maybe one day this will be over. I love you. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. It's weird. It's weird. Just the animal part of it. Um. It seems like a very consensual thing so y'all do y'all they're depicting this very lovingly oh no he opened up to you i'm no one to kink shame i'm just the animal of it all is weird give him a chance guys no dude you have to listen to me, please. It's not James. Good sex. Yeah. It's. Wow. <laughs> I uh, didn't expect that. We have an unusual Same. relationship. <laughs> Stop while you're ahead. Stop! <laughs> James and I, we haven't made love in weeks. James is chained. He's, He's confined. Ch yes. At least take a shot. I agree with her. He's a good dude. Yes, he's killed people, but he didn't mean to. That doesn't Tell matter. Me. Intent matters. Still investigating this crappy little case. Well, we have some uh, individual discretion to pursue cases. I'll catch up later, Ed. But it must have been tough to lose a valuable resource like Lieutenant Frampton. See, he and I, we... Uh, nice pull. We caught a case together a while back. I gotta ask. I, do I, I you, can't help but wonder. Do you Which have to ask? First, dog or girl? This have anything to do with what I told you about James and me last night? It has everything to do with it. Look Are at him. Imagining it? Yeah, he is. What? No. Look, he's taking his hands. Yes. <laughs> Dean. You're going to give James two choices. Leave or the full Harry Carey. The suicide? Which is appreciated grand gesture. I won't let him do that. 
Well, the community might do it for him. By the way, I've got to add to you, it's been 15 hours since Portia mentioned her night with James. And not one bestiality joke out of you. No, oh, it's all up here. Don't you worry. <laughs> a witch can go to a place without having to go to a place. What, like phone sex? Actual projection. projection. <laughs> I can project my awareness anywhere. His mind is permanently in the gutter in this episode right. for sure. <laughs> but these have got to go. Okay. But only if we can go with you. Oh, yeah? Just close your eyes. This is some... I don't want to pass on you too. I don't want to talk about it. This whole thing has sexual undertones. James, why don't you give us a little warning and you're gonna snap us back like that? Still, it's, he's building a case against me. Yelling a renegade cop. That's I'm qualified. so fucked yeah. up. Especially when he holds a grudge against. He's got everything. From who? Phil. The cat. <laughs> I can't believe this is a real episode. <laughs> hey, 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 take these, Talk this out, buddy. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Sam! <laughs> that was eye comedy. I'm going to say for you, please. Don't hurt my face. Always spineless. Now, literally, killed this motherfucker. He killed his familiar. This is about her. What? Can you imagine the insult? When it's... she picked you as master, I endured it. It's so weird. Too, when Odell and Edward broke the code, put your passions what? before the community rules. What? It's not only James's head I can get inside. Oh my God! You went to that. Oh. Oh my god. Oh my oh my god. All their fucking dramas. He he went deep in there. Oh my god. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's true love. <laughs> This episode is a crack. I'll miss you. Maybe even you. I like dogs. No. Since when? <laughs> I trust you, Sammy. Oh. And that's it. I'm with you 100%. <laughs> Sam, I don't love that you say I'm good and are bleeding from the mouth. Don't keep that a secret. Don't. Sam, no secrets. Oh, you look so concerned. <gasps> Guys, what would you do if I said that I love this episode? <laughs> I don't. I love it. I do. But I kind of hate it. <laughs> I kind of love it. It's weird. It's fucked up. Um, I think they wanted to explore some things that maybe the CW wouldn't be cool with. And they couched it in a dog metaphor. Which made it really fucking weird. <laughs> Why was it sexual? I feel like it had to be because that was what the metaphor was. That club they went to was a BDSM club. Uh, am I intrigued that Dean was intrigued? Yeah, I am. Uh, but <laughs> um, what the fuck was this episode? I um, There's subtext here in some ways that I don't want to think about. <laughs> Um, this episode was about trust, okay? It, it was about trust. And uh, to be serious about it, that, that speech at the end made me really happy until it completely...
got ruined because we're that is exactly what we don't need is Sam keeping secrets. They were shown their past traumas and we know that those buried traumas can make people cycle into negative and bad behavior. And if Sam is starting down the same road as last time where he had nothing but good intention, but he was secretive and didn't tell Dean everything. I don't feel good about it. I feel way less good about it than I did at the beginning of this episode. And then on top of that, I'm just worried. Like, why the fuck is he bleeding from his mouth? Is those dreams that were going on without his know-how the the guy in this was that like a relation to what Sam is gonna have to deal with there was a lot of stuff with like masters and like having to do something that you don't want to do I don't know if that's more of the, the larger metaphor that we've been dealing with this season with God a lot of the characters this season have represented God and uh, yeah. it turns out he, he, he sucks. So I don't necessarily trust that these trials are going to be fair, honestly. They might be... They might ultimately lead to the actual shutting of the gate. But is it going to destroy them? I, <laughs> oh God, Sammy, why did you just not tell him the truth? He went off on his own, was doing his little investigation, Sam, you know, caught that name on the folder. He's smart. He's, he can do this, but he cannot do this if he lies to Dean about it. That's going to get them fucked up. Please have learned that lesson, Sam, please. But okay, <laughs> I'm gonna put all that to the side because uh, I'm I'm glad they uh, continued on with what happened last episode, I'm trying to fill out where they're at. Dean says he trusts him. I think Dean feels like I do that Sam did make this big mistake, but he did redeem himself. He paid penance, and this is his chance to do it. The right, better. Uh, and I'm still going to be there too. I'm so worried. But the only reason Sam let himself go there is because of what he was being influenced by. Oops. <laughs> I, can't, <laughs> I can't say that word in this episode. Ah! Um, <laughs> this episode, this episode, I, I will, don't watch this reaction, um, retroactively wipe it from your memory. I, I'm very uncomfortable. <laughs> what were they doing? Um, weird. <laughs> so weird. To be clear, I am not king shaming, um, the BDSM world, all of that, like they've got their shit negotiated. They got their, you know, there's a lot of like trauma work that goes into that, like uh, offering full trust to somebody and like having uh, that. It, it, they just, it is actually interesting the ideas that they were going for here. It's just the dog thing is weird. It's weird to me. It's weird to me, but. Um, you know, <laughs> sometimes Supernatural gets weird, and they certainly did here. Um, yeah. The, I mean, I don't even know how to talk about this. Um, she, the, 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 the girl with the collar, like, they did have seemingly a sweet relationship, you know? 
She was a dog. She was a dog. I, uh, <laughs> I kept trying to see, like, you know, they were, they, they were talking about, like, the larger arc of this season. This isn't one of the, I, I, I do not think this is an episode where it, it is just a standalone. It has nothing to do with the plot. They've really not done that at all this season. Bitten maybe withstanding on that. But, so I was trying to figure out, well, no, is Dean, is Dean the girl? Is Dean the, the other the other guy but I was like no that's not the other guy he's not the other guy that's like the master that would be like the god type character so is Dean the dog and like I mean there's stuff like Dean and Sam shippers their subtext there you go you can go there if you want to um what I don't know <laughs> I don't know I do I, I will say though I just really enjoyed like everything Dean was doing <laughs> So yeah, I I did like this episode. I will not lie. Am I weirded out for sure? For sure. But am I intrigued? Yes. But not by the the, the fucking the bestiality of it all. There, you know, they did not make any bestiality jokes, which was so surprising because it's right there. But uh, all the other parts of it, I'm really <laughs> interested in what they were trying to say. So, yeah, I'm going to have to rewatch this. Maybe I'll have to watch it drunk. I don't know. <laughs> but I, I, I did have a really good time watching this. So, I'll take from that what I will. So, <laughs> thanks for watching, guys. I'll be back soon.